I am going to review Dragon's 1 350th Sean Horse 1943. I am by no means a ship modeler, but I decided that I wanted to have like a long term build kind of go behind my armor stuff this year. Actually, two, uh, but the first one will be the Sean Horse in 350th, and I figure I'll, I'll do a review just to show people what's in the box. I'll do my best not to sound stupid if you are interested in these things uh, and want to see people who actually do have a real grasp of what they're talking about. Guido Hop and uh, my friend Shane Smith, much smarter with ships than me, but I figured since I have this I can at least show everybody what is in it. So my instructions are slightly smaller than your standard Dragon Armor Kit, at least this way. Very few parts unused, I imagine those are generic Dragon 1 350 sprues. Um, quite a bit in there. The complexity of, of these things, you know, we're looking at, uh, there's etch, etch, plastic, plastic, etch. So even step one, which I have to build ten of, ten, um, looks incredibly complex. And these are just small guns by the look of it, and it, it sort of just carries on from there. Here's another thing, and another thing. Much more of the same kind of stuff, maybe four or five plastic parts, three or four photo etch parts per, now at least we're to the, the gun turrets here. Lots of etch. This is kind of all I'm looking at right now. So, continuing on. Very small images, uh, giving me some options here. Actually mounting the turrets to their bases. I'm sure there's a name for that. I mean no disrespect to the sort of naval modeling community, I just really want a battleship, so I'm going to start with this insanely complicated one. I'm probably in over my head here. Like, just looking at these instructions. Finally getting into some of the larger detail here. Lots of little photo etch ladders, which I'm not really looking forward to. But it, it looks like, and from a layman's point of view, because when it comes to ship modeling, that's what I am. Um, you're doing lots of these things, like turrets and guns and things. Leaving them separate, so hopefully that's how this build will go. Here's like a large piece of structure, as is here. Pretty complex, but sub-assemblies by the look of it, which does make me slightly nervous, the idea of how much of the ship actually goes together at one time. So here you've got three larger sub-assemblies. A large portion of the deck. That's all fine, as long as I can do it in sort of mini bits. Again, more, we're getting larger centralized pieces of the ship that have fancy names that hopefully I will learn, by the way. Um, that is why I do this, because building things helps me learn about them. More ladders. Up to step 10. Getting some really complex stuff going on here now. A bunch of lifeboats. Things starting to get a little bit complicated down here. Looks like we've got smaller gun turrets or uh, positions fitting into their smaller mounts now. Smaller lifeboats, some kind of radar array by the look of it. Very, very complex looking, this thing. Probably the most complicated thing I've ever built. Lots of sub-assemblies going together here, 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 right? Like down on two. Now if this is decks, I'm gonna, I have some stuff I bought that might make this even more complicated. So I'm gonna be leaning very heavily on a few friends when I do this. Because here you've got the plastic decks and I've gotten wooden decks for this, so I know I get to a certain point, I build these things up, I slap the wood decks on over top of this, and then just fit all this down. But turrets are going on, very small parts going on, and other turrets. I'm pretty overwhelmed by the, uh, by the look of things. These, uh, these pages even sort of blend together, which dragon ones normally don't, so instead of, like, there's no break here, you see, like... So I can explain this to you. In between pages like 18 
or sorry, steps 18. Like here's the seam of the page and it just blends over it, so. Right, so normally you have at least a break between pages there, but this one doesn't really do that. It's just like, bam, all of this. So then here again is that stuff I was just looking at, but then it's sort of all the same steps, step 18 here and step 19 here. So they're putting on turrets and small bits and then the large three sub-assemblies of the ship's sort of, you know, areas itself. Pretty massive. And that, that's sort of your final assembly. So wooden decks, I assume, go on sort of after step 17. You would fit... That's when you kind of bring in the aftermarket deck. That's the camo. Little intimidating, sure, but it sure does look cool, so I am going to try it. The kit has four photo etch sheets of varying levels of complexity. Some of these are large pieces like this here, which will go inside the funnel. And then some of this stuff is unbelievably small. Uh, and then this looks like a lot of ladders and stuff. Also, to go with this, I have the Cyber Hobby Railing Upgrade photo etch, which does not come in the kit, but is available for it. That's the first sheet. Some really tiny stuff. Probably some of the tiniest stuff I've ever seen. Let's see. This is a toothpick. And if you look at it next to these little protrusions here, that is unbelievably fine. These will obviously be rounded railings. I mean, if I mess this up, I'm done. Like, not with the kit, but if I mess up, let's say, one of these, I don't have another one of those, and it will probably just either be left off, or I'll have to try to scratch build something. This sheet, a little less intimidating. You've got a few rails, I'm guessing, for important areas, because I have the, the other upgrade with all the rails, and then just these large pieces. This is something more similar to what I'm used to dealing with in uh, Dragon 135th Armor. Some really fine stuff here, though. Like, that is... I hadn't really looked at this until just now, and holy cow, that is insanely tiny. This little one has some ladders. I can't really tell what these are. I'm not really sure what those are either. Some of this stuff is some of the smallest PE I've ever seen. I might have to adapt a new method of, of working with it so that it doesn't just ping into oblivion. The last sheet has a bunch more ladders here. Some tiny, tiny things. Again, I, 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 I can't tell what a lot of this is, but I can tell you that this is a toothpick. And these are very, very, very small things. And let's just call it like it is. Some of this might be skipped or lost on the floor. This is Cyber Hobby's aftermarket railing set. I figure I'll, sh I'll show this as well. Uh, again, remember this is not in the box, but is available um, with it. Uh, mostly just railings for the outside. Um, again, very fine, thin, thin bits. Haven't done anything quite this small. Uh, this seems to be very nice, very kind of thin standard dragon stuff, so. Uh, very cool. I don't know what this thing retails for, but I imagine it's not terribly cheap. Lastly, we have some decals now. These are Kriegsmarine flags, which I'm not really sure how these are done. I'll have to watch some videos and how that that goes. And these large Hockenkreutz flags for the decks, broken into two sections. Um, I worry about... And actually, that's everywhere. Maybe I'll try one up to see how it looks, but I'm worried about how the overlap of this part and this part would leave like a darker part where it crosses. So I may just look for aftermarket stuff when I get there. Luckily, these are very, very late in the game. So, um, cartograph, very simple. Just pieces for the, the cross itself and then the, the red and white for the flag. So not a lot of decals on a ship, thankfully. So I can almost get that in shot. This is the main part of the hull. So this would be your waterline hull. So it, it's quite thin, as you can see, and uh, you know there's no detail in here, but there are support ribs, and this is perfectly smooth. But if you wanted to do a waterline 
dio or whatever, you just build the thing on top of this and boom, you're done. Which apparently was not the way. Now, I'm, you know, that it used to be, but I've never done a 350 a ship, so I might be a little spoiled by this, because I know traditionally you have halves, and the way Dragon has done it is it's all one piece, um, but in, in up, uh, top to bottom halves. So there's the detail, um, that very um, specific look Sharn Horse had, had like an older style bow, so very cool. These portholes are not holes, they're just indents. Now I don't know if traditionally you would drill those out or not. I don't think I will. And then back here, some very nice detail there. I'm not sure what good 350th detail should look like, so you'll have to forgive me while I get used to this. Not sure if I'm going to build a lot of ships or not, but I definitely want to do a Sharn Horse and a Bismarck and, you know, some of these famous Craig's Marina ships. So. so with that, we then have this, which is the bottom part of the hull. So, oops, bumping it on stuff. I noticed this, it actually comes with a piece jammed in there. Now I assume this is to just hold the shape in, in uh, transit or whatever while it's sitting in the box, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it out for a second, see if I can fit this thing together. Now it does also have this little tab in the back, I assume is to protect it from damage. Got some massive supports inside here. Here you can see where you drill the base out when you want to have it um, on a stand. You could also have it, um, you could dig it into a dio, I suppose, as well. So how it'll go together is, you know, simply like that. And then bang. Now hopefully that's a natural seam. I'll have to clean that thing up before it goes, but then... So that quickly you get an, an idea of the scale of her. I'm not sure how well that'll fit once that's cleaned up, but hopefully pretty well. Um, she's pretty massive once that's together. It looks good though. Not much to look at. You got these fins for stabilization here on the front. Again, not a whole lot of microsurface detail, but everything that's there looks pretty good. This is our base. It basically is just a rectangle, um, an extruded rectangle with a chamfered edge here. So nothing terribly fancy. It will sit flat. I think they use it for multiple kits. That's why it has different sized holes there. You can actually see them through here, which is a little bit weird, almost like sink marks. And then this would be the pegs that kind of get attached into there and attach the ship to the base. They're just nice little pieces that look sort of like, you know, old school chess pieces maybe. So this is our first sprue we'll look at. Labeled just for Scharnhorst. It's um, some rather large upper deck areas and lots of things I can't identify. That's a funnel. And um, I will spare myself the embarrassment of trying to label things that I don't recognize. We'll just look at the detail level and sort of the fidelity. This looks pretty nice. Uh, real sharp bevels. That looks good. Very fine parts here. There's texture here as well as here where these gun emplacements go. It's a nice piece though. Lots of very, very small things. More deck sections there. That looks really sharp. And that funnel looks good. Everything's really impressive looking. Super intimidating, but very nice looking. So this would be our plastic decks. 
which we do still use as far as I know. I have uh, a particular company's wooden decks that are super thin and you apparently don't remove this detail, you just place it like a sticker over the top of this. I'm not sure what I'll have to clear off if anything. So then we have, you know, I believe four and a half deck, our propellers, and a few other little bits. This looks like a 135th barrel cleaning rod. Probably not what it is though. The texture on this looks very nice. Hopefully we don't lose that with the wood decks. I know some really hardcore ship modelers don't even like the idea of using real wood decks. Came with the kit, so I'm gonna use them. That's that's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Very straight. Uh, nice looking pieces here. Nice wood texture. I'm sure you can make this look amazing. Propellers look really sweet. I like how they've protected them on the sprue like this. That's very good. These are rudders, I'm guessing. We then have this sprue. Um, again, just some parts of the ship that I can't quite label yet, um, but very sharp looking ones. That looks really sharp. Wow. A little either burring or flash or something right there. I'll have to try to clean that up a little bit. Bring it in. That looks pretty sharp. more funnels. Again, not in halves. Very good. That looks very nice too. Yeah. I wish I had more to say about it, but everything does look very impressive. I'm sure I'll have a lot more to say after trying to build the thing. We have two of these. These are clearly our main gun turrets. Um, so you've got the top part, I'm assuming the bottom part, the guns, which look like they can elevate, would fit into these little notches here. And then we've got a smaller scale gun over here. So these are the main guns by the look of it. They are hollowed out. They look pretty good. Slide molded, of course. Uh, they look plenty good for me. I think Sean Horse had 11 inch guns, memory serves, which are kind of small for a battleship. And the whole pocket battleship or heavy cruiser versus battleship debate, you know, whatever. She was awesome, no matter what you call it. So there's our main turret piece. Very thin. This reminds me of a lot of armor pieces. But. You've got a good sprue to protect it. Um, and then there's our bottom part. It's a little bit stiffer in here. There's where the guns would fit in. So they could elevate. Here's our smaller scale armament, which are also hollowed out guns. I don't know if these are... F I think they'd be 5 inch. I'm not sure. Perhaps though. We then also have two of this guy. A little bent there. These are clearly smaller turrets. Um, again, I believe guns. Just some tiny stuff. This might even be a smaller scale, scale turret again. So more armament stuff. These sprues are all labeled as 1 350th Kriegsmarina. So these turrets look nice. That looks a little bit, it's either flashy. Yeah, cause that one's not. So it's a little flashy right there. Very crisp though, super nice piece. There's the inside of those turrets. Very prominent details popping up right there. I think that's another small turret. If these are guns, these are solid, but they're very, very small. I mean, that's my finger, so. Our, our standard reference toothpick. You get two of these as well. 
again, uh, just, you know, generic German Navy sprues. Can't identify anything that's on it. Gee, really sharp stuff. Very, very small stuff as well. Good God. And again, double sprues. Um, more very tiny parts. Uh, default 350th German Navy sprues. This part seems kind of large here, but I can't really make out what it is. Got some ejector pin marks there. I'm going to assume that's not a concern, though. This thing's very detailed. I'm not sure what these little guys are. Again, double sprues. Um, some slightly larger parts, but more fine parts. Um, again, everything looks spot on. There's been a little bit of flash on the larger, um, planar faces, but everything like this seems to be pretty tight and well done. You've got knockout marks here protecting that. Looks very nice. Another double sprue. This one looks like it has escape rafts or boats. So, yeah, so we can see the shells of the boats here, which are, again, done vertically. And then the tops. And then we've got some proper life rafts over here, and then different kind of boats over here. So pretty much the sprue is all escape boats. That's very cool. Bent it a little bit. Looks like anchors there. Yep, that's what that is. Some tiny little boats. All different sizes of boats. And then up here we've got these larger type, almost small ships. That have like, yeah. Much more imposing look. Very cool. And then some little parts to go with them, I assume. And then our adorable little life rafts. Then we got this one, more smaller parts. That kind of looks like a radar array or something. Very easy to break there. Again, double sprue. Not really sure what's on there. Could be guns again. Very fine, almost like they're bendable. They're so thin. We've got this little guy. Um, interesting looking these are very very sharp and we've got another double sprue of these all the parts seem clean still wish I knew what they all were So we also have two of these, which are 1 350th scale people. That's actually as, that's as close as I can get in. So, you know, that's a person. That's my finger. Uh, that ought to be interesting. We then have this sprue. Now these come, there's two boxes off to the sides of inside the box and these parts are protected kind of like trumpeter does with some of their stuff so this was not in with the normal parts this looks to be a very major part of the superstructure 
uh, and in a couple of different places. Very sharp bevels, very high in detail. It kind of stands out differently from the rest of the kit, actually. Um, very nice looking piece, this. Very well supported by sprues as well, see that? And then again with a piece of decking here by the look of it. And then another piece. Also in with that piece is this, which are DS plastic blast bags for the guns of varying turret sizes. So that's really nice. There's a little bit of a seam there, nothing you probably couldn't melt off or just scrape away. Pretty sweet looking. Interesting use for DS. On the opposite side we have this piece, again, being protected so that it doesn't warp or bend. Again, a very nice piece, very thin plastic, well supported, more detailed than other parts in the kit were. And then these two little guys with it, very, very thin. Also with that piece are clear parts, um, probably some larger lights, uh, perhaps windows for certain parts of it. They seem pretty clear. Uh, this actually looks a lot like this piece, but in clear plastic. Interesting. These lights seem cool. That's my review of Scharnhorst. I don't know a lot about 1/350th battleships or 1/350th dragon, so I will learn and hopefully be more useful if I do this in the future. The only other thing I have here is this wooden deck upgrade, uh, which I don't, I don't know if I need to be using it, but I will. Um, this will be in the background. I might post a couple of updates as I try to build it. It's really intimidating, but everybody wants a battleship on a shelf, at least if you're like us and sort of World War II fanatics and silly. Uh, there you go.